M0FXB, just a quick one. So when I set up this, when I put, they call it provisioned, I did it, I did, I connected the Wi-Fi first and then I um, let it re reboot. Um, was hoping it would stay connected to Wi-Fi, but what happened is when it rebooted, it loses its Wi-Fi settings and so it doesn't complete the provision process. So then I had problems when I did put the Wi-Fi, the Ethernet cable back in, uh, it did complete, but then the Wi-Fi just wouldn't connect. So I had to factory reset the the Cisco radio or phone uh, and then do the whole process again. So that my tip is, and maybe I'm wrong, correct me if I'm wrong, um, is do the provision process with your Ethernet cable first, then add your Wi-Fi. I'll just quickly show you how to add Wi-Fi. You just hit the uh, little button here get into this screen like so, go down to network configuration like so, then make sure that's ticked. If it's not ticked, look, you can go right and left. You want to keep it ticked and when you've got it ticked, hit set, but mine's already set and then go down, down one to conf Wi-Fi configuration, uh, tick that, then Again, wireless profile, tick that. Then you want to go option. See here, option. And then go down one here, down one to edit, and then tick. And then this is what, just copy my settings, but obviously not my username and password. So WPSK, that's what you want there. I would just leave that as Cisco Voice, I would. This is my username on my broadband router. So put your username there. Now to do it, you, you hit, and you hit um, you delete here. With this button is delete, clear. When you're going to add a letter, um, hit the tick here. Let's go. No, tell a lie. Let's delete one letter. So we'll delete one letter here, delete character. We'll delete the last two. H and Z we've deleted. Now what we want to find H and Z. So let's go to H. Where is it? H here. And then you sort of push it. And then you get a little window appear here. Look, keep going. You've got to be quite fast because it moves across to the right on its own. See that? It went to the right. So go back. On This is just on mine. Obviously, yours is different username. So go like that. I'm going to go H. Then we let go. It moves across. Then we go to Z. There you are. It's in. Uh, and then go down. Ignore the this, this cipher type. That's what mine is. Just copy that. And then go down to shared key, which basically means password. That's password. Yeah, and again, exactly the same process. Delete here, enter with these buttons, and then I'm not gonna save this because uh, you know I've, I've already done it, but hit save here, and then it will go green when it connects. If it doesn't connect, you've basically got your username and password wrong. Just remember uh, that the SSID is the username, and, go, and the WPA shared key, is the password we go back and just have a look at some other settings back uh, don't, i never see where it says wi-fi protected and wireless setup status i didn't touch that wireless profile uh, you can scan but that if you scan and try and connect but you haven't previously put the password in it's not going to do anything it's not going to work basically um, it's, it'll find it, it'll find everything. This is my experience. I know someone's going to want to correct me on this, but if you haven't already set and put the password in, yeah, it's not going to work, yeah? So uh, just remember that. Oh, I don't want to do that anymore. Let's go back, see if I can see any obvious things. We'll go back to Wi-Fi. No, nothing to look at there. Click the right. No, nothing to look at there. So connection type, I didn't change that. DHCP. I haven't learned how to do static IP, so if someone, if someone knows how to do that, let me know. Uh, not that I'm going to do it. So there you are, Hamshack uh, Hotline, having fun here, loads of junk lying around. 73, catch you on air. My phone number is 42000090, so 42, six zeros and a 90. Call me anytime, leave a message, 73M0FXB. Please like and subscribe, all the best.